Hey squad, welcome back to my design time. I want this here, I want it to be custom for Piper Isle. Let me show you what I did over by my house first. So this is my the welcome mat for my house and I really like how this turned out. I think it looks really cute. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just erase that and let's get into it. So I think I'll use these two slots. So first off, I need to figure out what um, what color I want the background of it to be. And I've kind of decided that like the official color of Piper Isle is like a mustard yellow. Let's try a couple of these colors. So there's this color, which I think could look nice. Yeah, that's too peachy. Okay, so this is gonna be our base color for the mat. And I'm wondering if I want it to be, I think we'll just leave it the way it is. Um, on my other one, there's a way that you can use this erase tool to kind of make it look like there's a little bit of a border on the mat. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Let's leave it off for now, see how it looks. So the first thing I need to do is think about how I'm going to space this out. If I wanted to, I counted out Piper Isle, P-I-P-E-R space I-S-L-E. So it's 10 digits long, but I think if I do that, Actually, you know what? I think that might look okay. And these are, I think, 32 by 32 the last time that I counted. Yeah. So these are 32 by 32 tiles. Let's start off with white. Let's see. So 32 divided by 10. Let me just see what this would look like. I think that might be a little bit too... You know what? We're going to try it this way first. And if it looks too crazy then we can try something else. I think I'm doing that math right. I was a music major. I actually don't know what's going on. One, two, three. So basically I'm just trying to make each of these digits. I just realized I'm just, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> I was only counting one tile and we're using two tiles. That means each of these digits gets like six tiles each basically in order for everything to fit and for it to be lined up correctly. Let's make each of them five and we can have one space in between them. Let me just check my math really quickly. What's 64 divided by 10? This is so embarrassing. 6.4. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's that. And then we get one, two, three, four, five spaces here. Oh, that's a good P. Look at me go. Did I count that right? Yeah, I put it in the middle. This is kind of a trial by error. error. Trial by error right now. Okay, it's looking pretty cute. One, two, three, four, five. And then a space. And then our R. I'm going to basically do it just like the P, except we'll just have to drag down the bottom down here. That doesn't look very good. Okay, that looks better. Let's see. What do we think? Mm, you know, it's not the worst. Maybe let's try... Now that just looks bad. It's gonna work for now. So there's Piper, and then we've got a space. So on the next block, you just need to remember to leave five blocks of space and then another space to kind of make up for that the gap between the two. I'm kind of thinking in the back of my head, like, what if none of this works and I have to redo the whole thing. It'll be okay. I just won't be very, very, very happy about it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, then a space, um, and then this one is gonna be 10 wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This is a lot of math. So there's our I, and now we get to make an S. Yay! <laughs> and if this is your first time tuning in to one of these, I guess this is only my second one. So just a reminder for everybody watching, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave it for now. I didn't count this right, did I? I didn't count it right. No! <laughs> oh man, you, mm, dang it. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be a lot easier to redo the I than the S, so let's count for a second. Three, four, five, and a space. And then one, two, three, four, five, and a space. Did I count that right? Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. One, two, three, four, five, space. One, two, three, four, five, space. So it just needs to come over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gave my heart a self heart attack. Wait, hold on. There we go. Okay. 
we're back to business. I really hope this works. Two, three, four, five, space, and then an E. Okay, so let's see how these two look beside each other. So far, nothing too bad. I had a scare there that I was gonna have to redo that whole thing again, the S. Um, but we made it. Let's put it down and see what it looks like. I am definitely not too happy with it right now. I named them both too. Did I really? Okay, this is pretty good. I think what we're gonna do is let's move the, the first P over a space because it looks a little bit weird. And then we'll move um, this design over a little bit. We'll make the eye closer together. And then, actually, you know what? What if I just try putting some tops on them? We're gonna try something real quick. We might not have to move everything over if we just do this. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Do I like it? No, I don't like the serifs. I wanna keep them. I like this one better. So that's a little bit more work. That's why it's design time. Okay. And now basically I'm just going to delete the P and bump it over probably one space. Actually, let's, let's see. Should I do the I? I'm going to do the I first because it's way easier than the P. Yeah, that looks nice and even. I just had a thought. I think I want these to be too wide. That doesn't look that weird. Um, and then here. Nope. I guess that's going to be, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Yeah, I think that looks better. That looks a little bit more like professional. <laughs> what a professional island we have. Okay, so the peas really aren't too difficult now that I kind of have like a template. So there's that Piper. And then we just need to fix the spacing on the other one too. Yeah, see how much better that looks with the two wide pixels than the one wide. It just looks a little bit cleaner. You know what? If I do it the right way, I might not have to. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna stop talking, start creating. So what I wanna do on this one, let's move everything over a little bit. Kind of like that. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is widen everything up and that's gonna help me decide where I need to put that eye. Yeah, that's gonna look really, that's gonna look good, yes! That looks like one of those like S's that you used to draw in school all the time. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see what that looks like. That is perfect. Okay, now something that I'm noticing here is the um, there's more space with the P than there is with the E on the ends. I'm just gonna bump the designs over. And while we're here, let's change it to Piper Island one. <laughs> Does that look even? Why don't we move the aisle over just one tile? Like if I'm putting this much work into something, I'm gonna make sure it looks like exactly the way that I want it to. Okay, and the other thing I'm thinking is maybe I want a border around the yellow, and then maybe I also want a border around Piper Isle itself. So this was my little t-shirt and so the colors I'm using are like white and navy and yellow and I don't know if I literally don't know if this is actually a crest for anything else I just kind of made it up for Piper Isle so if it's like actually a country's crest or something let me know and I will change it so what I'm gonna try first is doing a blue like a navy border around all of the letters just to kind of make them pop a little bit and let's see how that looks I'm now realizing that there's no navy or there's no blue in this palette. So we're gonna need to make sure that the two swatches match perfectly. Okay, what do we think? Well, I guess I need to do the inside too, don't I? I think I like it. Let's see what it looks like with two. I mean, I know it definitely pops more now, so that's good. Maybe, maybe we should try doing like a softer color so it's not so harsh. I should have called my design friend. My friend is a graphic designer and I always call her <laughs> whenever I'm doing anything. And I'm just like, help me, <laughs> make it look good. Okay, that looks a lot better. I, in my opinion, it's not so harsh. I think that's, it's outlining how I wanted it to, but it doesn't look crazy. This might be one of those things that I look back and think, I hate it. 
And the good thing is, um, even if we don't like this color, once I change the sw swatch on the palette, it will change all of these colors, right? Kind of like that. Ooh, okay, I like that a little bit more. So there's like a little bit of border that we needed to do here. And I'm just gonna put that down and we'll see if it matches. Okay, so those two colors are not too far off. And it looks like all I need to do is one more, just one more dot on the aisle. And I'm liking the aisle color better. So let's take a picture of that and change the piper to this background color. I think that looks so good. And that's all I needed to do on this one. And then we've got like a couple of other things that we can do. Okay, that's a perfect match. Yeehaw. Okay, so there's the, the hard part is technically over. Now what I'd like to do is let's try a navy pattern around, or just like a, like a navy border around the whole thing. This one is gonna be so much easier. All I'm gonna do is take this too wide. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how easy that is. Look at that! I like that. I think that looks really nice. Okay, and now what we need to do is just match the blue color and finish up the thing and then we're, we're right as rain. Oh, I hope this is it. Now, I have one final thought and it is this. What if we add like this to the stripe? Is that gonna look cute? Is it gonna be too much? We'll see, we'll just look at both sides and decide which one we like better. Okay, so looking at the two of these, I think I do prefer the white. I think it looks, it like makes it look a little bit crisper and cleaner. So let's go ahead and just add the white to the other side. Yay! Did you look at that? Look at that work of art. I think that, I think that's it. I think that's it. Piper Isle, look at this! Oh my goodness! It looks so good, I'm very happy with it. And I'm actually gonna change into my Piper Island shirt. There we go, that matches so much better now. Look at that! Oh my goodness, Piper Isle! So let me know what you think. Are you happy with it? Do you think it could look better? Um... <laughs> so cute. But I think for right now, that is pretty stinking cute. <laughs> All right, there you have it. There's our new little welcome mat for Piper Isle. It turned out so much better than I thought it would look. Um, I was really worried about this. I wasn't sure what would happen, but I am very pleased. Um, anyways, again, let me know what we should do next. I am loving doing all this design. I think it's super fun. So if you have any ideas of what I should do next, if um, like I can make a new like bedspread for the bed or I can um, make like more clothes or a hat or something, just let me know what you think would be fun and we will do it next time. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel um, and just, um, I'm gonna try that again. Isaiah cut that part out, that was not very good. <laughs> Okay, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. This is take number three. Okay, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We're putting out new videos every week now um, with Animal Crossing. We're still going to do some streaming. So um, let us know what you want to see. And we are excited to keep putting out um, new fun things and trying new things. Uh, especially me playing Animal Crossing. This is probably all I'm going to play for a while. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, thanks, bye.